Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My beloved brothers and sisters, a very important lesson. When we would like to seek the forgiveness of Allah, we need to say beautiful words. Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We seek forgiveness from Allah. We send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask our need. And then we send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again at the end. And our supplication is complete. Now, one thing, to earn the forgiveness of Allah, we must remember there are many different wordings. You can use any words. If it's not within salah itself, you can actually use any language, to be honest with you. You're, you just need to be genuine, sincere, and Allah will always forgive you. Remember that. Allah will always forgive you. So the Prophet ﷺ was asked by his wife, our mother Aisha radiallahu anha, if I were to witness the night of decree, Laylatul Qadr, what should I say? He said, say, Allahumma inna ka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive me. As simple as that? Yes, as simple as that. As simple as that. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive me. For me, what's more important than, than anything is to understand these qualities of Allah. Oh, Allah is afu. Allah is most forgiving. You know, he just forgives. Al-afu. It's okay, you know. That's it. It's fine. You know, you, you just tripped over someone. Well, that's a mistake. And they say, it's okay. It reminds me when someone does something wrong, you know. And then Allah says, it's okay. You sought forgiveness, it's done. Allahu Akbar. And then, to hibbul afwa, you love to do that, oh Allah. Allah loves to do that. I mean, human beings will get irritated when you, when you did something wrong once, twice, thrice. By that time, a human being would probably punish you in a tremendous way. But Allah says, no, if you, the more you seek forgiveness, the more you have understood that your maker can either punish you or forgive you. Now that you've recognized me, I forgive you. That's Allah. عَلِمَ عَبْدِي أَنَّ لَهُ رَبًّا يَأْخُذُ بِالذَّنْبِ وَيَغْفِرُهُ أُشْهِدُكُمْ أَنِّي غَفَرْتُ لَهُمْ Allah tells the angels at that point that, you know, my slave has recognized that he has a Lord who can, meaning whom he is answerable to, who can punish him or forgive him. So now I want you to bear witness, O my angels, that I've forgiven him. Subhanallah. That's a beautiful dua. Now, a quick question. You achieve forgiveness more readily when you are prepared to forgive others. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it in Surah An-Nur as well. وَالْيَعْفُ وَالْيَصْفَحُ أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ You know, forgive and embrace. Would you not like Allah to forgive you? For indeed Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. Now, Allah knows we are human beings and He knows we have a heart and He knows we feel hurt and He knows that we might find it difficult to forgive. He asks us to look into the matter seriously. You may forgive and you should forgive and you should try and forgive. But the question is, what if I can't forget what was done? You never ever need to forget what happened. You don't need to. If over time, you have forgotten it was good because the relationship might have built and you forgot what happened. Mm. Or it slipped your mind or it's no longer in the front of your mind. But initially, it's very difficult. And you know, sometimes you don't even need to interact with the people you've forgiven, but you've let go. This is something that many people don't understand. I've spoken about it in the past and I'm speaking about it again because someone's asked me a question and this is the answer to it. You forgive but you don't forget. That's it. And you forgive. It doesn't mean you need to embrace. To forgive is one act of worship, which is more important. To embrace is another act of worship, which is not as important as the forgiving. Because sometimes you might have a person who is really a nasty person. You've forgiven them. They may not be genuine in seeking that forgiveness. You may, you may not know you're a human being, but you've let it go, but you want to limit your interactions with them Bravo. That's actually a good thing. Subhanallah. It's good to limit your interactions with those who may be toxic. Those who may not have changed their ways. I can't handle being in their company. It's very stressful. My mind uh, has a pressure on it whenever I'm with this person. I feel so uh, you know, strongly about not being with them. 
and it just stresses me and gives me the jitters or I, I get depressed, whatever else it may be. You just don't want to be with them. No problem. There's nothing that says you have to be with them. They've wronged you in the past. They belittle you. They mock at you. They lie about you. They cause problems for you. You can minimize your relationship with them, but you've forgiven them. What am I going to hold it in my heart for? It's okay. I've forgiven. That's a very important lesson. I thought I'd share that with you. It's Ramadan. We want to forgive, but let's be genuine. And there are a lot of us out there who are nasty people. I'll be honest with you. There are a lot of us out there who are nasty to someone in our lives. Be it a parent, one of your in-laws, maybe a sister-in-law, maybe a sister, maybe a brother. Sometimes we're very nasty to them. And you know what? It it's just because we think we have an advantage over them. And so we say bad words. We say cutting remarks. We make people cry. They cry quietly because of us. They cry because of what we said, because of what we've done. They are hurt. Their heart is paining. Those type of people, Allah watches what's going on. Allah knows, don't think you're a big deal and you're a powerful person and so on. You know, it's very serious. You make people cry. For what? Why did you do that? You know, in, with your words. You think you are superior, you think you're the boss, you think you're the big person, you think you are the one who can dictate the pace. Not at all. Allah dictates the pace, not you. So if you would like to make someone else's life difficult, I've said it, Allah creates a person or a situation where your life will become difficult even worse. Just wait for the day. But if we seek forgiveness, we can save ourselves. We seek forgiveness, we can earn the pleasure of Allah. So I thought I'd just share a few of these words with you to say, let's seek the forgiveness of Allah. Let's forgive others as well. You don't necessarily have to forget what happened. You're just a human being. But at the same time, you will always uh, you know, be a content person because you've let it go. And you know in your heart, I don't hold things. It's fine. I don't have a spot in my heart to hold things against those who've said or did things against me because I ultimately just want Jannah. It's a very high level of thinking because when people do something against you, they can spread rumors, they can do things. And now with social media, it goes far and wide. They've said nasty, ugly things about you, untruths about you. They've spread it. They've said whatever and it's gone to the whole world. You have an option. You have many options. The best option is just forgive them, let it go, don't hold it against anyone and just, that's it. I don't want to interact. I don't want to talk to these people, but it's okay. I don't hold it in my heart. I just, I want to have a clean heart when I sleep every night and that's it. And inshallah, with that, I want Jannah to fill those. And the reason I say this is because of the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ pointed out a, a companion who who always looks at his heart and takes out from his heart any ill feeling against anyone else. And Allah, he says, well, that man is uh, from paradise. He's going to get paradise. So for me, uh, there's a lot of ways of getting paradise. And we are trying very hard. One of the beautiful ways is mm, just let go of things. You let go, Allah says, we'll let go of all your sins and everything. And we'll give you Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah grant us Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah forgive our shortcomings. Aqulu qawli hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.